Yo, what's good everyone? This is A. Yo Boxing with Madiba, and we're here to talk about why I think Casemiro should fight Luis Neri next. So, Luis Neri just came off a great win against Azat Hovanesian, and that fight was an absolute war. Definitely a fight of the year contender. And that fight was a WBC title eliminator. So, this win has now made Neri the official mandatory for Stefan Fulton, who is the unified WBC WBO champion at 122. However, I don't think that Neri will be fighting for the WBC belt anytime soon. Fulton and Enyue are fighting this May, and both of them want to be undisputed at 122. Therefore, the winner of that fight will most likely fight the winner of the MJ vs. Topalis fight next. And if Fulton or Enyue become undisputed this year, they'll most likely vacate and go up to featherweight. Therefore, the only way Neri will be able to fight for a title is for the WBC to force a mandatory fight, but I don't see that happening since Fulton and Enyue appear to be favorites of the WBC, and the WBC likes to pick and choose when it comes to enforcing their rules, so I don't think that's going to be happening in Neri's case. So this leaves Neri without an opponent for his next fight. This is where Casemiro should step in. Casemiro is ranked number 8 in the WBC and he has expressed interest in fighting Neri. Casemiro just came off a win in December against Raiho Akaiho and has no opponent lined up next. So, Neri would be the perfect opponent for him to fight next. A win over Neri will put Casemiro in a position to get a fight with his rival, which is Enyue. Neri is a big name at 122. He's a former two division champion and he's very well known to the Japanese boxing fans, mainly due to the controversies surrounding the Yamanaka fights. Beating Neri would make Casemiro the WBC mandatory, and more importantly, it would bring a lot of attention to Casemiro and give him clout, especially among the Japanese boxing fans. And this would definitely reunite the fan interest in the Enyue fight. And if Enyue loses to Fulton, Enyue would have to fight through the rankings to get another title shot, and Casemiro would be the perfect opponent for Enyue in that scenario. However, there are some issues that may prevent a Neri fight from happening. Casemiro signed a three-fight deal with Japanese promoters, TB Promotions, and a Sign Boxing Promotion. But, Neri is banned for life from boxing in Japan due to him testing positive for PEDs in the first Yamanaka fight and being overweight in the second Yamanaka fight. Therefore, the fight can't happen in Japan, and I'm not sure if TB Promotions and a Sign Boxing Promotions can or would put the money up for this fight to happen in a different country, like the USA. Furthermore, we can't be certain if Neri would even accept this fight since he's already in mandatory position. But if we assume that this fight does happen, can Casemiro beat Neri? I don't know if he can. I see it as a 50-50 fight, 60-40 in the favor of Neri, because I believe that Neri has a style that could give Casemiro trouble. Neri can outbox you and he can outbrawl you. And more importantly, he has power. He can withstand some punishment and he can dish it as well. I think Neri's pure boxing ability, movement, and counter punching will give Casemiro a lot of problems. Filipino boxers typically struggle with guys that can box from the outside and move, and Casemiro has shown this vulnerability in previous fights. And even though Casemiro TKO'd his last opponent, we can still question if Casemiro's power is still the same at 122. Furthermore, we don't know how punch resistant Casemiro is at 122. However, Neri did show some vulnerabilities in his fight against Havanesian. Neri was getting hit with clean right hands throughout the fight, to the head and to the body, and he was hurt several times in that fight. And the moments in the fight where Havanesian was awkward and explosive, throwing that 2-1 combo, he was able to land and find some success. Casemiro is an explosive, awkward fighter with KO power in his right hand. If the fight turns into a brawl, which will definitely happen at some point in that fight, I can see Casemiro catching Neri with a power punch that could hurt Neri and possibly stop him after that. But who knows, this is boxing, anything can happen. But thank you for tuning in with AEO Boxing with Madiba. Hit like and subscribe and more content is coming your way.